Hi there, welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Eddie Sanchez with usmarinefitness.com. Yes, I'm back, motivated more than ever. Today's topic is gonna be, Jesus, am I still talking about this? People lose weight, people try different techniques to lose weight, but they always end up getting it back. Now, what is the secret to keeping the weight off? I'm sure you guys wanna know this. Do you wanna know the answer? Well, if you want to know the answer, it's very simple. You have to live life in moderation. Okay? So let's let's go a little bit into it. I'm not going to make a full long video on it. If you want to have questions, make sure to reach out to me. Send me a, a video, excuse me, a, a message, and just ask me to make, make a video on certain things or on certain diets. Whatever you guys want to know about, I can answer them. Well, it's, it's very simple. Everything is about moderation, right? If you stop going to the gym, you will notice you will start gaining weight. Things don't, don't just happen like automatically. <clears throat> what I mean is, let's say you get lipo, or let's say you did uh, M sculpting, these new things that are coming out that they can actually remove the fat or you know sculpt sculpt your body somehow. <clears throat> what happens? Will it stay the same? Will the fat not come back? I don't think so because your body is resilient in the in the sense that it will find a way. Fat will find a way. Uh, you can close your stomach up and make it smaller so you can't eat as much. But do you really want to live like that way? Do you really want to like eat uh, M and M and be full for the whole day? I mean, yes, that would solve your problem. You would stay skinny. Um, I don't even know if that's, you know, feasible. You know, I don't think you want to keep that kind of lifestyle. I think it's a little boring. Don't you think if you, you really you eat one thing and you're full, you really can't eat? That's not really enjoying life. Uh, I think we, we need to m m just modify everything, right? Don't just go all out and, and starve yourself or close your stomach. There's many different ways you can, you know, t trick the body, right? But at the end of the day, how, how safe is it? How safe is I mean, I guess if you close your stomach, that's okay because you're just not going to be hungry as much. But again, I think that's a little drastic, right? Um, you won't be able to enjoy life the same way. And I feel like life has to be enjoyed. I think you enjoy life when you have a nice drink, when you eat things you like. Again, not every day, but just in moderation. Why should you uh, stuff yourself every day, have um, that frappuccino or that stuff with a bunch of sugar every day and think you're gonna look amazing anyway. It doesn't work that way. The body, you have to give and take. So yes, today let's have that frappuccino with sugar and all that stuff, whatever, I'm just making an example, but tomorrow, don't have it. Maybe go to the gym. I mean, it sounds crazy. I'm throwing things, these crazy ideas out. Go to the gym. Um, if you can't afford to go to the gym, go for a run. Go for an extended run, uh, a walk or something, anything. Just don't just go to work, come home, eat, the end. It doesn't work that way. You're gonna gain weight. You're gonna end your life a lot sooner. If that's your goal in life, to like live live hard and die fast, then, then it's all good. You should be a daredevil. <laughs> um, no, I just think that a lot of people just, it's all or nothing, right? Or haven't you ever heard um, too busy? Look, we are all busy. You, if you want to make time for something, make time for yourself. If you don't have time for yourself, you really have to ask yourself, is that, is that really what I want? I don't have time for myself. That, does that sound right to you? I don't have time for myself. I don't have time to work out. That means you don't have time for yourself. That doesn't sound right to me. I feel like people can make time to go to a movie, to, to go out and have drinks, but they don't have time to go to the gym. Listen, if you have time to buy drinks like every weekend, you can probably afford a membership to a gym, a cheap one. Uh, it's not easy, or maybe buy some weights and work out at home. There's always something you can do. There's, there's an answer to pretty much everything, right? <laughs> now, I'm not gonna get into physics and tell you how, you know, things work in the world or how this might be, they might be alternate universes where you're Superman or something like that. I'm not getting into crazy stuff like that. But the reality is 
there's always something you can do. The only person standing in the way of, of being moderate is you. Now, you could say, I, I don't have the willpower. I don't have this. I don't have that. Make up excuses, but you're probably going to die young. Okay? That's the bottom line. You may not like what I'm saying, but it's the bottom line. That's what happens when you, when you live a fast life. You die a lot faster. Okay? Ask all the people that died, like, young, right? They, like, took a lot of drugs. They did a lot of stuff. You you don't hear a lot. uh, I mean, unless it's, like, some kind of anomaly, you don't hear a lot about these healthy people dying young. Now, we have, you know, uh, situations where where people are having large hearts and stuff like that. Um, I mean, honestly, that does happen, but that's very rare that somebody's so super healthy that they die, they just drop dead. That doesn't, that rarely happens. And he goes, oh, wow, you're so healthy, you just died. Um, freak things happen like that. But again, that there's no reason for you not to live a moderately healthy life. So anyway, I just wanted to come out here and kind of give you guys my, my thoughts on, on why people, um, that you know, like they say, oh, I want to get surgery or they want to do drastic things. They don't really work um, in the long run. It might not be that healthy for you. you. You might go insane because you're always full, you know, after eating one little thing. Um, it's not easy, but it's worth it. And you are worth it. So make time for yourself. Do it the proper way. Don't try to get surgery. Don't try to get none of that crap. Um, it's going to f- f- fall short at the end. If you want to live a good life, you're going to live a life worth living. So make your life worth living. Make time for yourself. And remember, you are important. Anyway, leave comments down below if you have questions. If you think I'm crazy, still leave comments. I'm Eddie Sanchez with USMarineFitness.com. I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. God bless. Take care. See you guys next time.